every time we went away from the core customer, sales went down. When we started, you were talking about how you could go shotgun approach and just blast a bunch of products and get to a million, but you like to narrow the focus to go from a million to let's say 10 to a specific avatar. At what point do you find like, do you feel like you could add a product and would that be the case with you if you still had that? This is an interesting question because we definitely made the mistake of doing the shotgun approach in order to try and grow. So when we felt like we had maximized the product line that we had, our temptation was to go wider. And that did not work out well. Every time we went away from the core customer, sales went down and we had a product that wasn't converting and competition was eating us up. So we definitely made the mistake of going wide at times. But I, I believe in once you have maximized a product line, you then launch the next product about whatever is the next stage of that person's journey. If you maximize the muscle building space with pre-workouts and post-workouts and creatines and protein, first of all, there's, there's $10 million to be had in that focus. What does that person buy in the next stage of their journey? Might be a joint supplement. Yeah. And so if you do that really well, then it's, it is now a fit for the existing product line. We made the mistake of just going, we, we created a, a line called Sheer Health, and it was just a, a general health supplement division, and it flopped because we were just doing this and this and this. It was trying to go for volume rather than serving a person. So if I were to go back to 2017, I would have pared down the distraction products and I would have come back to the muscle building focus, maximized that, and then started to add in the products we're adding in now because it would be the next stage of that same person's journey. I had a conversation the other day with, I was talking about this before with uh, Tom Shipley, and he was talking about the expansion of products as they scale to nine figures and beyond. And I had the same conversation and I said, that seems like a massive distraction. Mm. And he, functionally, you two are saying the same thing. And he had a, a skincare product, but then they started selling um, pillowcases. And right, exactly. Uh, because uh, the skincare product actually, so skincare and one of the things was women's hair loss. Okay. But then the women's hair loss, and that's what I did. I gave, gave them the strange expression of, what do you mean? You have pillowcases. Yeah. said, well, when women sleep, that person, what else could impact their hair loss? So, well, the sheets that you're on, the pillows that you use, right? The blow dryer you have, the mm. shampoo you use, all these things that impact it or that are around the periphery for the same avatar, right? For the same person. And I thought that was an interesting approach. That is very interesting because it is the same person, even though you don't think about it. Right. And and that is, I do believe in that. I mean, you pick the person and the problem that they are dealing with and you serve them throughout the life cycle of that transformation. To your point, that, that is why I regret going really wide with products. I would have stayed really narrow and then added in other things that were the next stage of that person's transformation. Oh, 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 oh,